What's up, people? Happy Monday. Listen, did you catch Where is Wendy Williams documentary this weekend? OMG. DJ Booth was a part of it. Her family was a part of it. You know, DJ Booth really spoke up about kind of the going-ons of being Wendy's support during the pandemic. She only wanting him in her apartment while she was still trying to film the show. And he really began to understand her cognitive um, fall apart really during that time. He does say that, you know, during the time of the show, Wendy did have some health concerns and some issues, but nobody really knew how severe it was up until now. We're going to get into the story and talk about it. We're going to watch a little clip from DJ Envy and then talk a little bit more about what's going on with Wendy and this conservatorship. Let's get right into this. Welcome to Royer's Corner. Was this going on? And was there a conflict that you saw? Because I think your perspective is so important. A conflict between the people who are running the show and the family in terms of what's best for Wendy? I don't think no one knew exactly to the extent how bad it was. Um, I think I think I felt like people knew something was up with her, but they didn't really know. Um, I knew it because uh, uh, I've been around it, you know? Um, it's sad, um, to see something like that happen to her, you know, um, she, she needs help. I'm curious what your relationship has been. Have you been able to be in touch with her? Um, or do you see it the way the family is describing it? I speak to Wendy, you know, um, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know if they speak to her as much as I do, but I, I sp last time I spoke to her was probably like about a month ago. I don't think it's her not keeping them in a loop. I think it could be the guardianship that's not letting them know exactly what's going on. That's um, how they see it, at least. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, if you was to ask me, I think she does need to be around her family. It is hard for me a little because, um, you know, she not she's my friend. You know, I've I've with this woman for 12 years. So I've seen it all, you know, and then we had, it was a, a, a relationship outside of the show that, you know, most people don't have. I booked back into her in Miami, which everyone's seen. And we took a picture together and I seen her. She was a hundred percent great. She, you know, she was recovering. Yeah. And that was due because I seen her in Miami and she was with her son and Travis and, and she seemed to be doing great. I think and if you was to ask me, I believe my Florida would be a better place for her because that's where her family is. And she needs, I think that she needs that 24 hour care. Yo, we got to give a shout out to DJ Boo for getting up here on Wendy Williams' documentary and then doing this interview. You can see the love, the care, and compassion that he has for Wendy. You can see it in his eyes. He's fighting back the tears and the emotions. This is his friend who is being exploited in the media and in business. And he truly, as he said, thinks that she needs to be with his family. Let's get into this article real quick. Wendy Williams' show, DJ Booth, staff didn't realize how sick she was. She needed 24-7 family care. Hair. DJ Booth, longtime disco jockey for the Wendy Williams show, says folks in the studio didn't understand the extent of Wendy's illness, and he thinks her family members are the only ones who can help her. Wendy's former TV colleague joined us on Monday, TMZ Live, and told us it's been sad to see his friend going down the road a congestive decline. DJ Booth says people on Wendy knew something was going on with her, but didn't realize just how sick she truly was, namely issues with alcohol abuse and eventually being diagnosed with aphasia and dementia like Bruce Willis. 
The new Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams, highlights her struggles with a fist, uh, excuse me, with um, excessive drinking and some of her outbursts against people on the show. And DJ Booth tells us he knew Wendy needed help long before the program aired. Now, that's the big thing. Long before the Wendy Williams show came along, he feels that Wendy needed more help and support with getting sober and really controlling her drinking habits. There's some question about who is best equipped to help Wendy, her family, her inner circle, or the women, or excuse me, or the woman who's Wendy's legal guardian. And there's now heated conflict between those fractions. Booth says he keeps in touch with Wendy since the show was canceled in 2022 and she vanished from the public eye, telling us when he last saw her in Miami, she seemed to be doing very well. Wendy's family is down in Florida, including her sister and son, and DJ Booth tells us why he thinks it's best for her to move forward, okay? Um, we cover all of this in the last episode of the TMZ podcast, okay? So shout out to DJ Boo for being an amazing friend, for showing up and supporting Wendy, for letting the people know she needs to be with her family. She was doing well when down in Miami. Now that she's up and back in New York, the decline has been astronomical. I mean, it's ridiculous how far Wendy has fell in, in the mental state, in the emotional state since being back in New York. And DJ Booth is here witnessing and telling us that is the issue. The guardianship, the drinking, the people around her, they are the problem. They are the circumstance. They need to be removed. And Wendy needs to be back with her family to get in better health. Shout out to DJ Booth. We all need a friend like DJ Booth. Thank you for loving and supporting Wendy and being there for her. I respect you even the more, man. Y'all hit the like button on this video. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Do you feel like you need a friend like DJ Booth? I went over to his Instagram on his birthday on Saturday and shouted him out, said happy birthday, and thanked him you know, for supporting Wendy and being there for her. If it wasn't for him, she probably would not be here. Y'all hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, check out my channel. If you like what we got going on, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I will catch y'all next time in Royer's Corner. Bye.